Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are unboxing and reviewing Shadow High Series 2 Zoe Electra. Now I purchased her from Amazon with Carla, so I did not pick her out in stores. I was super skeptical about doing it, but I've never had any issues ordering online. So I got a really good Zoe and a really good Carla, so I'm super excited. The thing about Zoe is <laughs> Funny enough, green is my least favorite color, but there are two green dolls that I absolutely love, and those are Jewel and Daphne. So I'm, you know, counting on Zoe to go ahead and continue that trend. She is way more of a Daphne Minton color, so I, you know, she's closer to that than Jewel's color, but I'm super excited. She's very, very unique. I do want to say really quickly that if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. I am legally blind, so if I'm describing something to you and it seems a little bit off to where I see it differently than you, I'm just showing you all how I see these dolls through my eyes, and I heavily stress this because in the Shadow High where they come with all the little accessories now instead of the second outfits, I kind of, you know, have a hard time telling what certain things are. So this one shouldn't be too difficult, but I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring Zoe up close and we can take a look at her gorgeous face and incredibly intriguing hairstyle. Alrighty, so here she is. I also struggle with telling certain face molds apart. So that is something I do find a bit difficult, but she has these gorgeous brown eyes. Her makeup is so unique looking. She's got these super like bubblegum pink lips. I also want to mention that their artwork is drawn on the side of the box, which is kind of interesting. I am not an inbox collector or somebody who keeps the boxes, so you know, that's not it's not my favorite, but um this is her hairstyle. This is very reminiscent of Miss Royale from OMG. I feel so funny because I just filmed Carla's video and I said her outfit reminds me of Big Wig from OMG, and now this girly reminds me of Miss Royale, and those are two of my favorite OMGs, but I will say I'm not even going to lie to you guys. This hairstyle will be coming out mostly because she's not gonna fit on my shelf if I leave this in so I'm gonna have to figure out we're gonna give Zoe a new look and it's gonna be so much fun to do that I'm very excited for all the restylings of the new dolls I have acquired in the past six weeks so I do also want to mention that there are Novi stars references on this doll and yes I know what those are but I'm not like into them I won't understand these references so if I'm describing something I'm like oh this is cute whatever and it's a Novi Stars reference, I apologize. Some pop culture references I get, others I'm like, I have no idea. But anyway, I just wanted to get that disclaimer out of the way. You go over here, you've got her accessories. She does have a laptop, which is super interesting. We've never had a Rainbow High laptop before. There is her focus, and this is the back. It is her and Dia. Every back is different. So like on the back of Dia's box will be her and Zoe. Carla had her and Monique, Glitches is her and Rex, so they're all going to have different boxes, which is interesting. I like the concept, you get a better look at the doll's artwork, but I do kind of miss, you know, the old days where all six dolls were on the back of the box, but it's fine, you know what, it's good. So then this other side is just plain. So with all that being said, I'm going to remove Zoe and we're going to take a look at her. This is our first look at Miss Zoe Electra out of the box, and I held her for a good like two minutes before I even went ahead and I took the rest of the accessories out of the box. I was like, whoa, like I was told I was going to be blown away, but I, I listen to you guys, but sometimes I'm like, ah, I don't really know. I should just shut up and listen to everything you people say, because yes, you guys were right again. You guys are freaking geniuses. I think she's really cool. Yes, she's extremely unique looking not only to the line but to dolls in general okay she's i don't want to say she's giving monster high vibes but that level of uniqueness to the doll community if you guys understand everything from the hairstyle the unique face mold and the makeup and again like i said face molds is hard for me but i'm pretty sure we've never seen this face mold before if we have i think it kind of reminds me of margot but let me know you guys because i i could really use your help with that so I am not bothered by the fact that she's got tinsel in her hair. Speaking of Margot, again, Margot is my girly and I have not had any issues with tinsel, so I'm not, I'm not worried about that. But, you know, to each their own. I can totally understand why people are like, oh my god, tinsel is terrifying. Like, I get it, okay? But she is so unique looking. Like, just look at her makeup. It's definitely the makeup for me. And she has earrings. Both of her earrings match. I... 
I have to have things matching. Okay, so when people do, people do this a lot in real life, they wear two different socks. And I, my cousins and my sister do it all the time. And I'm like, you guys, I can't, it drives me crazy. So I know that MGA is kind of big on doing the two different earrings. And I'm like, okay, it's fine, but it bothers me so, so much. So believe me, when I saw Zoe had two earrings that were the same, I was like, heck yes. Because when they're in the box, I can't really tell. And I don't pay a lot of attention into the dolls unless I have them. Because the more I look at them, I get sad. And I'm like, well, I don't have them. And then I want them. And then that caused me, causes me to like impulse buy and stuff. But anyway, that's enough ranting. I think her face is really unique. I think that her... Um, Oh my gosh, I just lost my train of thought. I'm so sorry, you guys. Let me turn her around. So she definitely has, her hair is a lot more gelled than Carla's and she definitely has the indents from where she was tied down. So like I said in the beginning of the video, her hair will be getting restyled and I'm very excited to see what I can do with her because she's, she's cool. This is her very, very large thick jacket. It does make it a little hard for her to go into the little waist holder what would you even call that the clip i don't know but it is very cool it has all of these designs on it and graphics and stuff so yeah see novi stars it says that right there so if you guys love novi stars this is definitely the doll for you like i said i know what they are but i've never collected them i've never really been interested in them but i love when they do little motifs like this for the dolls and super like subtle references and then you have her little t-shirt there. It's super cute, really adorable. It's gonna be versatile because it's just a white shirt with the design on it. And then this is her skirt. This is adorable. It's just, I don't wanna say her color's mint, but she is very like reminiscent of mint. neon mint maybe, I don't know. But nice skirt. I definitely love it. It's really cute. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna be really easy to restyle. So then we go down. This is where things get interesting. These are her shoes and they're still factory tied down because they are slip-ons and she does have these laces. I don't know if you can remove these. For me, I might remove them. I'm not entirely sure. And she's got these socks. I've made this, you know, I've made this public knowledge before. I don't like when they do socks with heels. It drives me crazy. And it's so hard to get the shoes on with the socks. Sometimes I do it. Other times I just leave all their feet bear but anyway i think this is cool i'm not really the biggest fan of the laces but the shoes look at the heel oh my god this stand looks so pretty like that i don't i don't even know but she is absolutely a treasure and i am so glad i went ahead and took the jump and bought zoe electra and some people were like i don't like that her name has two o's i am someone who is all for unique spelling so i was like yeah i've never seen zoe spelled like that before absolutely so now i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna talk about her little accessories well, first off, we have this bottle and it says shadow and then sassy. So I need your help because at first I thought it was what I thought it was supposed to be maybe a perfume. I don't know, Bath and Body Works, anybody? But then I thought maybe it's supposed to be a drink. Like it's her, is it her water bottle? So this is where my blind self needs your guys' help to tell me what this little bottle is. I think it's cool though. I think it's very different because like I said, Carla's the only other one I've opened so far and I haven't paid attention to what the other accessories are for the other dolls. So it's, I like that she comes with something. I like that they don't all come with the same accessories and Carla came with all those little makeup brushes just like we got with the Rainbow Divas. So I'm glad that Zoe has something a little bit different. This is her laptop and she has it all decked out in some stickers. So that is a moon triangle and this is a, it says commander. So I don't really know, like more Novi Star stuff. Okay, that side is blank and then you open it up and this is really cool. I absolutely love this so, so much. It's really, it's nice, okay? And it doesn't feel like a cheap piece of plastic. It's nice and solid and things like that. She can't hold it, but I think it's okay. You could probably just like put it under her arm or something, but I definitely think the laptop is way cooler than a bunch of those super little tiny makeup brushes that I have to worry about losing or I worry about my cats eating. So, like Carla, and I think I think they all come with a phone except for one, I think. Remember, she's only my second that I've opened. So speaking of phones, here is the phone. I think, yeah, we've got like more Novi Stars stuff, I think. And then it is just, whoops, sorry guys. 
um, that is the back. And then here is her case. Her case is clear with, oh, these are moons. Moons, and it says Shadow High on it. That's cool. And I mentioned this in Carla's video as well, that I love that the cases can come on and off so that, say, maybe Zoe and Carla are besties and they want to trade phone cases. Like, why the heck not? I think it's cool. I think it's a really unique concept. And it's just, it's something fun, okay? So anyway, with all of that being said, I love Zoe. I can't wait to see what I do with her. I think she's definitely going to go high up on my favorites list and I cannot wait to, you know, restyle her and hang out with her, you know. You guys know how it is. If you have not already, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to join the fam and tap that really cool notification bell so you know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye everybody.